Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we finished the vault room in the community center, so the Junimo should have had enough time overnight to repair the broken bus. So I guess today we're going to have to go over to the bus and see where it's going to take us. But first, we do have to go visit Willie because today is his birthday. So I actually uh, took a look inside our kitchen to see what we could possibly make him. I mean, so far he has not been too impressed with our catches. Jess is definitely not the most knowledgeable fisher around town, so it's not too surprising. But we can make him trout soup. And if I remember correctly, this is what we bought inside his shop, so I'm hoping it's something that he likes too. It also gives him a little boost in his fishing abilities, so maybe that would help him. He could take it out as a lunch next time he goes fishing on one of those grand fishing trips off in the ocean. But we will have to try to find a rainbow trout in order to um, actually make it too. Oh, and look at this. The wizard gave us a little jade, I think. Yeah, a little jade stone. Oh, that's very nice of him. We'll tuck that away inside one of our chests just in case somebody asks for that in the future. Just as I suspected though, we don't have to uh, fish up any green algae to garnish our trout soup with because we have plenty of this. So we'll tuck that away inside our um, little backpack and we'll have to figure out what we can do with this um, crystallarium too. This is what we received as a gift after we finished the vault room and supposedly we can place some sort of mineral in here and to make another one it said, it will grow copies. So let's place it way over here for now next to all of our other machines and whatnot and I guess we'll try to uh, grab that special little diamond that we have hidden away in this chest and we'll see if it works. I remember you guys telling me that I should save the diamonds to do this with so we'll see what happens I guess. Yeah we can place it inside so it seems to be working its magic. I would imagine it is going to take um, a little while though. Oh my goodness and it is certainly going to take us a little while to gather up all of these blueberries but this is a good thing for us. We do need to make the extra money back after spending so much of it on the Junimos so we can um, hopefully get these stable pretty soon. We went into the mines yesterday too to uh, try to gather up some more of that iron because that's what we need for a lot of the crafting recipes and of course the buildings as well including the stable. Luckily we have lots of animals to keep us occupied in the meantime and since this is the very first sunny day in such a long time we had a very long summer summertime storm to deal with, our animals should be very happy to get out of the barn again, get out of their coops, and uh, stretch their legs too. They can even munch on some fresh grass. While we uh, gather up all of this milk to turn into cheese, our goats are now fully grown too so we can finally get some goat milk. Oh, not from Clover, unfortunately. She doesn't have any milk this time. But let's see if Mayflower has some. No, the goats are uh, not willing to give us any extra milk today, unfortunately. But I think they're still doing fine, right? Yeah, Mayflower looks fine. She's still a little bit wary of the farm because she is very, very new, but she has made some wonderful friends with all of our cows, so I'll bet we'll have better luck tomorrow. Then there is the chickens, and Stella is going to be so happy that she won't have to stay cooped up inside here anymore. She had her grumpiest face on yesterday. Now she's looking a little bit more soothed, so it must just be the rain that annoys her after all. Now, last but not least, we have Daisy to take care of. We'll fill up her water bowl. We'll pat her on the head and then we'll scoop up all of these oranges to sell off in the bin. Now we should be able to find some rainbow trout if we travel down to the area where Marnie lives. We'll go fish in the lake right by her house for a little while and we'll cross our fingers that we can get our hands on one of those uh, elusive rainbow trouts. I know we've caught them before. It does look like our bobber is getting a little bit run down though, so I hope it's not going to uh, break. Hopefully we'll be able to find the fish that we need before we run out of any bait or any bobbers. We'll definitely have to make more of those though, because so far that thing has been super, super helpful, so I definitely want to use it for all of the future fish that we're looking for. But I guess we'll start right here. Let's see, um, a pike. Well, not quite what I'm looking for, but it's still a pretty good thing. It's actually a new record too, so not bad at all, Jess. Maybe you can sell that for a little bit of extra gold. And there's a sunfish. So again, not quite the type of fish we're looking for, but our tackle has run out. So now we're going to have to fish the old fashioned way. It's not too bad though, because I guess some um, these fish are a little bit quieter than the ones by the ocean. And Elliot is out here watching the water today. It must be satisfying to follow your crop from seed to harvest. He's actually right outside Aaliyah's house, so I wonder if he was coming to visit her today. 
He lives by the beach, so I would imagine that um, staying by the waterside is something that he is very, very accustomed to. It probably soothes him to listen to the sound of the waves, especially while he's riding. This one is a little bit trickier though. Hopefully that means it's something new. Let's see, oh no, another one of those pikes. Oh, Willie, I desperately want to make you that um, trout soup, but I'm getting a little bit concerned that we're going to run out of time to uh, catch one. Well, if this doesn't work, we could always try fishing at the uh, mountain lake instead. Supposedly, we can find these rainbow trout in uh, both of the different places. There we go, just as I was about to leave. Oh, thank goodness I did not walk all the way up to the mountain instead. But now we need to go back to our kitchen so we can make our fresh trout soup and then go try to find Willy. There we are, our very first fresh bowl of trout soup. So this was quite tricky for us to make and I hope Willy is going to uh, really appreciate all of our efforts. We'll come back and we'll make sure that we take out all of the mayonnaise and whatnot not, probably after we take our trip to um, wherever the bus is going to take us because I do want to give it a little sneaky peek before it gets too late. I wonder if it's going to um, take us to the city. We have actually used the bus before to go to a Sam's concert actually. We'll have to let him know that we're going to uh, leave the valley for a little while to go explore the outside world. But first things first, I hope Willie is inside his shop. There you are, and I truly hope that you appreciate some uh, trout soup. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Excellent. So we only have a four hearts with Willie. We do need to figure out exactly what he likes, the exact sort of fish that would really impress him too, because like I said, so far our farmer has not been able to find anything that he truly, truly enjoys. All of the fish that she's shown him have been a little bit too common for his tastes. Oh, in perfect timing, Sam. We were just on our way to the bus, we wanted to let you know that we were going to go take a trip today. I saw a spider on my ceiling last night. They sure like the warmth. Oh geez, don't even talk to me about spiders. I don't want to know anything about it, Sam. That's one of the reasons why I am not too fond of the summertime season. So hopefully wherever we're going today won't have uh, any spiders for us to deal with. Let's go ahead and make a little bit more room in our inventory too. We'll put all of our stuff deep inside our pockets. We'll have to make sure we go to Clint's as well tomorrow to uh, crack open some of these magma geodes. But let's see, how do we uh, get on the bus here? Do we have to come over to this machine first? Yeah, buy a ticket to Calico Desert for 500 gold. All right, so it's going to cost us a little bit of extra gold to take a trip to the Calico Desert apparently. So not quite the big city. Please return when a bus driver is present. Oh no, did we miss the bus? Oh, Pam must not be in to drive the bus. All that time spent trying to find a gift for Willie, and we actually missed the bus. How fitting is that? Well, I guess we're going to have to set up at the bus stop bright and early tomorrow, and we'll make sure that Jess makes it to the Calico Desert in time. It's not all a loss though, because that gives us a little bit of extra time to do our chores on the farm, do all of the work that we were supposed to. I guess uh, maybe that was our grandfather's way of gently pushing us to truly get work done on the farm. We were planning on just gallivanting off to the big city before even finishing our work for the day, but our grandfather's ghost put a very quick stop to that. And speaking of work, that actually reminds me, I kept forgetting to uh, let you guys know that the mayor sent us another letter over the past few days. He actually wants a bottle of truffle oil. He won't tell us what it's for though and it seems very, very mysterious to me. So we'll have to keep this in mind. Of course, we can't make truffle oil just yet because we don't have any pigs to get the truffles from. We'll have to um, upgrade our barn, I believe, before we can get our hands on that. And let's take a quick peek inside our greenhouse too, just to make sure that our blueberries are coming along nicely. We have our blueberries, we have our fruit trees back here, and they all seem to be doing pretty well. Then we might as well stick our heads into our fruit bat cave too, because I think it's been quite a while. That should be right behind our greenhouse and hopefully they've left us some nice fruit to take back. Oh, we even have some cherries this time. I don't think we've ever um, had cherries before, so this is going to be our very first experience with that. Maybe we should actually um, save that away inside our fridge. There might be a good recipe that we could make with some uh, nice fresh cherries. So we'll drop that into our refrigerator and then let's head off to bed so we can get up bright and early in the morning and um, I guess wait at the bus stop to see when Pam comes in. 
I never asked her for her hours and she's actually been out of work for quite a while, so this is all uh, pretty new to us. But look at all of that gold! Yet again, the blueberries are really pulling through for us. And our wine is ready too, excellent! So that can go straight into the um, Wizards Bulletin Board Bundle. That was one of the items that he was looking for specifically. Now I don't think we're going to be able to grow any more of these sunflower seeds, so what I might actually do is save them away inside one of our chests. And then maybe if we wanted to, we could uh, grow it in the greenhouse if we had a couple extra spaces that we needed seeds for. And luckily, all of our goats and all of our cows had milk to give us today, so I guess they just uh, needed a little bit of extra fresh air, a little bit of time in the summertime sun after all. I am so glad that the rain is over too, but now that we have a little bit of extra time, we can also uh, stash away some of our extra items. That way we don't have to take a backpack full of all of these different things just in case we find anything uh, particularly special while we're out and about in the desert. We'll um, keep our wine inside our inventory just in case we have a little bit of extra time to go up to the community center, because I'm not sure if Pam is going to be around at uh, just about 9 a.m. That seems like it might be a little bit early for her, and yeah, I don't see her yet. So we don't have any sort of um, hours posted on this thing? Yeah, please return when a driver is present. I hope that doesn't mean that she's actually taking the day off, because that would be such a bummer. Maybe we can try to find her and um, ask her when she is going to be ready to drive the bus. We don't want to pester her, of course. Oh, there she is. Here she is coming to work for the day. If you want to make friends with my little baby girl, you can't go wrong with Poppy. I gave it to her one year and she wouldn't stop talking about it. Really? because we actually grew some poppy flowers and we tried to give them to um, a couple people around town and they were so very offended by it. I felt so bad because I really, really upset Sam and um, I believe it was Marnie as well. So I figured that we probably didn't want to grow those anymore, though we do have one last poppy of the season sitting right next to our beehive. So I guess once we go to harvest that, once it's time for us to pick up all of our last crops and uh, get ready for the fall time, we'll have to offer her that nice little poppy. But I think Pam is officially ready, so I am too. Let's finally buy a ticket to go to the Calico Desert. Oh my goodness, Jess is raring to go. She was really excited to go to the desert. Oh, look at this place. This place looks so cool and we even have little wiggly worms. Oh, excellent. Good thing I brought the hoe after all. So do we get anything special here? Um, some stones, okay. I guess this would be a good way for us to uh, gather up our resources then. Look at this place. We have places to fish. We have little coconuts to pick up. Oh, I think that was actually part of uh, one of the bundles quite a while ago, but we've completed it since. There's something over here too. A, a cactus fruit. Oh my gosh, there's so many new things. I didn't realize that there would be so much to forage around the desert too. And is that a cave up there? Well, we might want to explore that in just a moment because first I would like to see if there's any sort of like town here. We did kind of go off the beaten trail a little bit. There we go, there's our town, or our first building at least, the Oasis. So let's see what's inside here. It looks like um, somebody lives here. This actually looks like it might be a little shop. We certainly haven't met this person before. A customer? Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis. Sandy, the perfect name for somebody living right in the middle of the desert. Hey, you look just like the new farmer that Emily wrote to me about. Oh, you're Emily's friend. I think she actually told us about her, didn't she? Then the bus line to Stardew Valley is back in service. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, the little kitty face. I guess she doesn't get many customers. It must be pretty rough running a shop in the middle of the desert, but hopefully we can help her out. Let's see what she has in stock. She has rhubarb seeds. She has some star fruit seeds. Oh, maybe we should buy some of those for our greenhouse too. And beet seeds. Was this what we needed for um, Mr. Key? Oh my goodness, and who's this guy over here? I didn't see him over there before. We're gonna have to go talk to him. Yeah, the mysterious Mr. Key. You found another note written by Mr. Key. The request is even more unusual this time. Place 10 beets inside Mara Lewis's fridge. All right, so I guess we're going to have to uh, buy 10 of these seeds so we can plant them in the fall and uh, hopefully we'll be able to finish that quest for the mysterious Mr. Key. And other than that, it looks like she just has some speed grow down here. 
Deluxe Speed Grow, but I don't think we need to purchase that at the moment. I will, however, get my hands on a few of these starfruit seeds. We'll buy five of these. I would imagine we could probably come back anytime we wanted to um, fill up our pockets with even more, just in case we want to um, have a couple more spaces inside our greenhouse for the starfruits. But yeah, who on earth are you back here, a bouncer? All right, well, I guess I'm not allowed to go back there just yet. We'll have to do a little bit more exploring first. Yeah, let's see if we can um, get anywhere else inside the desert. Oh, there's more coconuts back here. Don't want to miss the coconuts. We'll bring those back home. I would imagine we could probably make uh, quite a few things out of these. Yeah, it looks like this um, just loops right on back to the road itself. So why don't we try to explore this um, little cave that was up toward the north? We'll see if we can find anything in here. I guess it's a good thing that I brought my pickaxe too. Hopefully we're not going to have to fight any monsters. Oh, there's some sort of door here. The door is locked. All right, so we don't have the key to get down to uh, these mines just yet. So let's try out uh, fishing here too. I think we still have um, a little bit more bait left. Unfortunately, we didn't uh, replace our tackle though, so hopefully they're not going to be too hard for us to catch. I think um, we can catch one of the very special fish here, as long as it's not too slippery. Hopefully this is the one. Oh no, and there's one of those treasure chests down there too. We might as well grab this because it could be something good. Our very first treasure chest of the uh, Calico Desert. Just a little bit more, little guy. There we go. The sandfish, yes. That was exactly what I was hoping for. And we even found some elvish jewelry. That's actually something new. We could bring this to a Gunther. Oh, he's going to be so impressed. We found some elvish jewelry deep inside the oasis at the desert. I wonder if that means it's uh, special to this area. Well, I'm really glad that we came up to the desert. It seems like there's um, a lot of little things that we're going to be able to find as we explore this place more. Hopefully we'll be able to figure out how to get on the bouncer's good side too. I'm assuming we probably can't walk any further down the road, but just in case, yeah, I did have to check check because that was actually how we found like Linus's blueberry basket or blackberry basket, whichever one it was. But let's return home for now. We'll have Pam drive us back home since we need to uh, try to find the skeleton key apparently. And of course, donate our new items too. We might also be able to catch Clint if we're not too late. I think we're just in time to go back into town using our trusty minecart system. Scoot on in here and hopefully you could process my geodes for me too. That way, just in case we have something a special in here, something a little bit more special than coal, hopefully. We can donate that to a Gunther as well. Um, some Jasper, I think we already gave that to him because it does have a description, and some iron, which we actually need, so I guess that's good. Nothing new for us, but um, at least that's going to help us out in the future. And hello, Haley. It looks like she's getting a little bit of ice cream from Alex. If you stay in the sun a lot, it will make your hair lighter. Yeah, we figured she probably spends uh, quite a bit of time in the summertime sun. Now let's go in here and give Gunther our brand new elvish jewelry. Yeah, he is going to be quite impressed with our find. We'll put it way over here, in fact, right next to the fireplace. The first uh, little trinket that we managed to find deep, deep in the desert, and now we can go visit the Junimos. The specialty fish bundle was only missing that sandfish, I believe. So that means that we are super, super close to finishing this entire thing, the entire fish tank for our little Junimo friends. And let's see what a special gift they're going to give us for the specialty fish bundle, the dish of the sea. Oh, I bet Willie would have loved this for his birthday. If only we had this yesterday, he probably would have been so impressed with us. Well, nonetheless, I mean, we can use this in our own fishing adventures. It gives us a plus three in fishing, which is a little bit better than that trout soup. Now let's make sure that we drop off the wine inside the bulletin board as well. We don't want to forget about this in the Enchanter's Bundle. He's been waiting for his wine for a very, very long time. That actually took him a long time just to brew inside the keg. So I wonder how um, valuable the wine would actually be. We'll have to place some more fruit in there and find out. Now we just need the pomegranates and we are growing those. And then we need the rabbit's foot, which we're going to have to upgrade the coop for. But I'm looking forward to uh, keeping little rabbits on our farm anyway, so hopefully that'll be in the works soon. Everything else just needs that one last ingredient as well. Truffles for Gus, apples for Marnie, and then um, the aquamarine for Emily, which we haven't actually come across just yet. 
but I would imagine it must be somewhere deep in the mines. We just have to do a little bit more searching in all of those monster-infested caves. That was where we ran into a little bit of trouble yesterday, when we found yet another one of those completely overrun cave systems that we had to fight our way through, but next time it should be much easier since we did manage to defeat all of those slimes and shadow monsters. I wonder if Emily would actually like um, something that we could give her from the desert itself? Since it sounds like she visits that place very often, or at least she used to before the bus was broken down, and she is pretty good friends with Sandy, maybe she would like it if we gave her one of these coconuts or one of the cactus fruits, so we can show her that we visited the Calico Desert too. But let's finally clear our pockets, we'll go back to the farm and make sure that all of this stuff finds its home. I think I will save a couple of those as special little things that we forged up because we have plenty to sell off anyway for that um, extra gold. We don't have to worry about our profits today with all of this lovely blueberry jelly to sell off. So as far as the beets go, it's said that we can grow that in the fall time, so I think we'll wait just a few more days until we can properly plant that on the main portion of our farm. Since we don't have any more sprinklers in our greenhouse and they're all being used in our blueberries, and I mean fall is right around the corner anyway, we might as well just wait it out. But I am quite glad to know that Penny actually enjoys the poppies because that gives us something that we can do with that one last flower of the season. And of course, we can't forget about Daisy. We'll give her a nice pat on the head and a little bit of water to tie her over for the night. And yeah, let's go ahead and place this orange back inside this keg. We might have another orange brewing inside there already, but I am quite curious to see exactly how much we can make off of that of fresh wine. We'll close up our coop doors, our barn doors, so all of our animals will be nice and toasty warm. And then we'll make sure that we put those seeds inside our backpack right in here too. Oh my gosh, it's so dark in here. Oh, we are desperately going to need to light it up with some of our trusty torches. Well, that's a little bit better. Still not a very bright, but at least there's a tiny bit of light so we can plop some of our extra seeds inside this chest. The seed maker was a, a pretty good success too. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned this. All of those ancient fruits that we placed inside gave us eight of these ancient seeds. So we have plenty to a plant in here as soon as we get some more of those iridium quality sprinklers. And that means we'll have to find a way to gather up the iridium too. But in the next episode, we might need to start gearing up for fall. I might take the uh, next few down days just to gather up some resources because we're getting so close to the end of the season. We're going to get to experience the dance of the moonlight jellies maybe right next to Sam too because we know that he also comes down there to enjoy watching all of those beautiful jellyfish float through the ocean and then it'll already be fall time so we'll have to get all of our brand new crops in order we have quite a bit of work ahead of us but for now thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time bye guys <laughs>